In John chapter 7, well, things are heating up. Things are becoming complicated for Jesus. So much so that he doesn't even think he needs to go up to a festival, to a feast, because, well, his life is in jeopardy. His brothers, his biological brothers are going up and they ask him to come, but he says, well, my time is not yet. And Jesus was always aware of his hour, of his time. And he kind of built his life around that very single thing, when his hour was to come. But when his brothers had gone up, then he also went up to the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. And then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? And there was such complaining among the people concerning him. Some said he's good, others said no, on the contrary, he deceives the people. However, no one spoke openly of him for fear of the Jews. Things are getting crazy, things are getting difficult. And Jesus begins to, well, reveal who he really is. In John chapter seven, verses 37 and 38, here's what he says. He says these words, on the last day of that great day, of the feast, the one that he was kind of sneaking into, Jesus says this, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And he spoke this concerning the spirit, which hadn't come yet. Jesus there at that feast, kind of clandestine, finally speaks up and says, hey, I am the one, and if you come to me, and if you receive the Holy Spirit, which was to come on Pentecost, out of your heart, out of your life will flow rivers of living water. There's all kind of controversy about Jesus today, who he is, who he isn't, what he can do, what he doesn't do. But if you come to him out of your heart and that thirsty heart that we all have will come rivers of living water. That's what he promised, that's what he does.